Isang magandang Webes sa inyong lahat. Ito po ang November 4, 2021 edition ng The Stock Market Today at 51 days na lang Christmas na. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Benji Chidoro. Ako po ay isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine Stock Market ng 2007. And I do this report every day which I started August of last year. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize. Ang ating financial news ay tungkol sa Santa Lucia, Ali at CNPF. Kasama po ang ating financial headlines at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, November 4, 2021. Dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today, don't go away. Okay, so let's start with our financial headlines. And our financial headlines is from BDO Securities. And on top of the headlines, in our macro news, NCR mayors lift curfew, PUV capacity increased to 70% effective November 4. Wow, that's great news, huh? The second is rising oil prices to erode pH dollar reserves then in our sectoral news it's uh, one of our news also Ali's nine month attrib attributable net income up 35% year on year then we also have one of our featured news items CNPF earnings up 22% year on year in third quarter 21 then pizza opens first R&B store in Metro Manila it's in Retiro, Quezon City. Then Philippines joins landmark initiative to retire coal plants early. So let's now go to our main news. Actually, there are two main news items. But uh, let's go first to Ayala Land. You know? And uh, based on the latest news, maintained by despite earnings miss. Ang sabi niya rin dito, the stock is poised to benefit from a broader economic reopening. So the 9-month earnings lag estimates on softer than expected residential revenues. Pero meron siyang attributable net income of 2.5 billion which is 38% up year on year. Then mall leasing still hampered as office rentals remain resilient. Action valuation maintained by keep target price of 41 pesos so ang target price po niya for Ayala Land is 41 pesos and uh, the closing price yesterday was 36.25 which has an implied upside of about 13 percent now the second is CNPF again maintained by with higher target price so in adjust po niya yung target price niya from 29 ginawa po niya 32 as the stock sustains earnings growth despite increasing cost pressures its 9 month earnings is in line with expectation CNPF reported a third quarter net profit of 1.3 billion or a 22.3% year on year increase bringing the nine month tally to four billion in line with our estimates upholding double digit top line and bottom line growth reaffirmed by target price increased to 32 pesos from 29 pesos or an implied upside of 16.4 percent so our third news item would be on Shakey's opens the first R&B store in Metro Manila and this is in Retiro. R&B I think is a product of Singapore. So they brought R&B here with the store in Retiro, Quezon City. 
Ito po yung first milk tea shop that offers a drive-thru option. Yan po yung namamahala po dyan ay ang Shakey's. And then finally, we have a request. Ito, before I go to that, may I just acknowledge the comments of some of our subscribers. Anna A. commented, thank you po. So, salamat din po sa inyong pagsubaybay sa akin. New subscriber is Joanna Abelia, Luis Vincent Salvador. Then we also have a new subscriber, Hazelin Kua. Mariles Samilio commented, thank you sir. Maraming salamat din po. George Anthony C. Thank you sir. Benji for the insight. Salamat din po, uh, Anthony George C. New subscriber, Ian. And uh, we also have Sikats Big Water. Sabi niya, thanks po sa insights. Pwede pong pakisilip ang all HC at HCC. Gagawin po natin yan. Then, John Sawayan said, thanks. Paki-include po ang ASEN tomorrow. Then, Mary Joy Maringit said, correction po sa all day. Dapat po maraming gustong bumili at walang gusto magbenta. Tama po kayo. Marami pong gusto bumili kasi yung left side po, yung bid is are the buyers. Ang right side po yung sellers. So nabanggit ko sellers po na interchange po just like what uh, how I interchange support and resistance. Yung resistance gagawa ko support, yung support nagagawa kong resistance. Yung overbought nagaging naga yung overbought nasasabi kong oversold, yung oversold nagagawa kong overbought. Mga nababaliktad ko lang po but uh, my intent was you overbought is overbought, oversold is oversold. So sometimes I mix up uh, things inadvertently. Thank you po for bringing this to my attention. Then Saldi Santos said, Sir, pwede po bang makahingi ng input sa SLI? May up upcoming FOO po kasi thanks po and more power. Okay, sige Saldi Santos pero ang this is just a simple analysis and I saw one article in Business World today, yun po ang isha-share ko po sa inyo, plus my simple analysis based on PE ratio. New subscriber, Turo Makto. Marami pong salamat sa inyong pag-subscribe. Okay, so let's go to Saldi Santos uh, request on SLI. Maiksi lang po ito. Sabi po dito in this news item ay PSE Clear Santa Lucia's Santa Lucia Lands follow-on offer. Okay. So, nakikita nyo ba? Santa Lucia follow-on offer. And ito po yung uh, summary po niya. CPSE si approved the application of Santa Lucia Land for the listing of up to 3 billion shares on its follow-on offer. The company is planning to offer 1 billion to 2.5 billion common shares to be priced at 238 to 329 pesos apiece with an overlap net option of up to 500 million shares and it has a price setting date tomorrow November 5 Friday it aims to conduct its offer period beginning November 11 hanggang November 17 with November 26 eyed for the tentative listing of the shares. SLI could raise up to 9.87 billion pesos should the shares be priced at the highest end of its price range if the over allotment option is exercised. The listed property developer plans to use the net proceeds from the offer to partially finance its capital expenditures for new and ongoing projects, strategic land banking activities to pay their short-term obligations as well as for general corporate purposes. China Bank Capital Corp is the sole lead underwriter and sole book runner. Okay, so that's uh, the article from Business World. Now, may I share with you a short analysis? Ano po? Actually, po, SLI is one of the real estate companies listed in the PSE. No? And yung analysis ko lang po is just very simple PE. Ngayon, I may be over 
generalizing ano baka nag-generalize lang po ako but uh, in simple terms I can compare ko siya with the other real estate companies listed like Ali, Meg and RLC hindi ko lang na include yung um, SMPH ano but uh, I think the three would already do for comparison with SLI ngayon po based on the company's second quarter financials, ang PE ratio po ni SLI is 16.44. Now, you compare it with Ali, which is higher, has a higher PE of 57.76. Megan, RLC, which is based on the second quarter financials, wala po po siyang third quarter. Meg is 21.53, while RLC is 16.46. Malapit po yung PE niya, sa MEG at saka RLC but it's more closer to RLC but between say RLC and SLI no, I'm not too keen kasi with, with SLI eh. probably because it's just a personal preference ano? between RLC and MEG I would choose MEG and RLC perhaps because of personal preference pero RLC you would be ahead since it gives dividends, you know, 1.43%. But uh, SLI hasn't been giving dividends since 2014. Or none since its inception. Nung tinignan ko po yung history ni uh, SLI, ay wala po ako makita dividend declaration. Si Meg naman po, ang last dividend declaration niya was December 2020 of 37 centavos. So, si Ali, nagbigay po siya ng dividendo, but it's just very small, ano? 0.75% yung annual yield niya, no? Yung uh, dividend yield. But uh, RLC is higher at 1.43. Maliliit lang po yung bigay ng dividendo. Sa PE, the lower the number, the better. But uh, I'm not too keen with SLI as a venue for investment. But it is your choice, sa akin po, personal choice ko po, na between Ali, Meg, and RLC, I would choose RLC, Meg, or Ali from SLI. Yan lang po yung aking personal preference, pero nasa sa inyo po yun, if you think the company would do good, magaganda naman po yung mga stocks na yan. Okay po, sana po nasagutan ko po ang inyong katanungan. So let's now go to the happenings in the Philippine Stock Exchange and the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. The PSEI gained 19 points or 0.26% ending almost flat at 7203.72. Do naman sa ating market summary, 123 companies declined, 80 advanced, 1242 remained unchanged. The All Share Index also advanced by 0.09%, ending almost flat, just 4.08 points up. While all our financial sectors are up, which was led by, well, almost flat din lahat, ano? Ang pinakamataas dito, it's, it's even less than 1%. Mining at 0.84%. Yan na po yung pinakamataas na sector. Followed by 0.57% industrials. So, just uh, while the index is up, ay hindi po gaanong tumaas ang ating mga stocks na nasa index. Dito naman po sa ating market, Status, yung ating titignan ngayon ay limang stocks. Tignan po natin si All HC, SEC, ASEN. Silipin po natin si All Day at si Converge. Okay, yung una pong stock natin ay All HC. One of my favorite stocks, ano? pataas pa rin po siya. Although it ended 0.14% or 14 centavos down to end at 566 but it's holding support at MA50 no so you 5.29 or no? 5 pesos and 29 centavos with resistance nandito po sa area to nasa 6 pesos po when i talk of support and resistance these are not exact points but these are areas 
So, yung ating support po nasa EMA 50 at 529. So, it's still bullish up, going up based on our indicators with the RSI bullish at 54. Ngayon po maganda pong investment ito dahil si Ayala Land connected po ito sa Ayala Land. No? Although this is not an index stock, I think I bought all HC for investment in 2017 pa. And I bought it at, hindi ko matandaan, 3 pesos, 350, 350 ko yata nabili. So it's almost double already dito sa 566. Ano? Hindi po yan nagbibigay ng dividendo. I bought it because of the capital appreciation. Okay po. And then, SEC naman. Si SEC is, uy, it's holding support at uh, 23 pesos, ano? Yung EMA 50 po. So, nagkaroon po siya ng blip dito. It gained 35 centavos today. Bakit kaya? Bakit kaya siya bumaba? Probably because of the price of coal. Semirara nets 4 billion. So ano naman to no? Maganda naman ang earnings niya. So yung kanyang support ay nasa EMA 50 at 23.23 at yung resistance niya ay nandito po, pinakamalapit po nasa area ng to nasa 30 pesos, 30.27. When I talk of support and resistance, these are not exact points but these are areas. So support is holding at EMA 50, okay? But SEC is one of the power stocks na hindi po kayo matatalo dyan dahil magandang investment po. It's a mining and power corporation although they have to reduce their dependencies in coal. Okay, after SEC, tingnan naman natin si ASEN or ASEN as some would pronounce it. Okay, ASEN continues to move up. Yung ating candlesticks are still under our in indicators, although it almost ended flat at 12.26, still moving upwards. EMA20 is our support level at 11.16, while the resistance, the nearest would be at this level at uh, 12.60 to 12.70. So again, ASEN is a good investment also because it's energy similar to Semirara, Meralco, Fgen, yan po yung mga power companies. Okay, next is all days. All day. Okay, all day. Naku, bumagsak si all day, no? From 90 ay naging 74. It's still higher than the IPO price but uh, it opened at tingnan natin yung um, 15 minute chart yan ano sa first uh, 5 minutes of trading or 15 minutes of trading ay bumaba siya up to 10.30 when it recovered and it settled to its present level at 74 so yung first day niya nag reach po siya nag ceiling po siya ng 90 Pero this time, it uh, settled at 74 or a 17% or almost 18% decline. Okay, and then converge our final stock. So, converge naman, balik po natin sa one day. Ay, nagko-consolidate lang po siya, moving sideways as our indicators are piercing through the candlestick, especially the 20 and the 50 day moving average. However, yung ating 100 day, I still under the candlestick. But um, in general, it's bullish to sideways and converge ended at 33. So nagkaroon po siya ng dip dito and our support level now is at MA100 at 29.62. Your nearest resistance, let's put it at EMA20 at 32.81. Yan po yung nearest resistance niya. The next resistance level, of course, malalagay po natin dito sa taas at 43.85 as the next resistance. Okay, yan po ang ating report sa stock market. November 4, 2021. Ito po si Benji Chidoro. Nagpapaalala, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat 
sa inyong pag-subscribe at pag-subaybay. Stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.